Good morning. This is a laboratory where we're going to be demonstrating some methods of plant tissue culture and we're going to gain some insights into how plant cells can be induced to divide and differentiate. My name is Pat Hazel Harrison and I, along with the students on BS 103 in the University of Leicester, will be leading this practical. I hope that we will gain some insight into the ways that external plant hormones will affect the growth and differentiation of tobacco leaves put into culture. And then in the second part, we'll be looking at how different agrobacterium bacteria, which I have in the little tubes here, will be able to induce carrot cells from sections of carrot root to divide. Now let's start on the practical. Some extra information about the practical is given in the course booklet and that is also available on the web if you search for BS 1003. We've started this practical by taking the tobacco plants here, which have been grown from seed in the greenhouses of the Botanic Garden, and then the leaves have been cut off and soaked in a dilute solution of bleach, which has sterilized them. They've then been washed twice in sterile distilled water and now we're going to have those leaves, which have been placed in the dish here, and cut sections of those. We do this in the laminar flow cabinet, which I'm using here, and this has big filters at the back with fans and blows sterile air across me so that there's no bacterial or fungal or other infections. First, I'm going to take the forceps and dip them into alcohol to sterilize them, as you're seeing here. And then they're flaming and burning nicely. I do the same thing then with the scalpel, which I'll be using for cutting. Now letting those cool, remember that the leaves are alive and shouldn't be, and, and therefore shouldn't be handled roughly or carelessly. I'm lifting one out here letting it dry, shaking it dry a little bit, putting it down into the Petri dish. I'm now going to cut one centimeter square pieces from between the leaf veins here. Looking in a little bit more detail in that process, here we are cutting out the one centimeter square, turn it around, keeping the laminar flow of clean air across without interruption, lift it out and then place it down gently but firmly onto the, and you can notice I've got minimal damage to the surface of the leaf section which I've put onto the medium there. After we've completed the tissue culture, we then have to seal the plates and we do that with this parafilm, Nesco film, and we take a piece of that and put it onto the side of the plate. And then stretch it round in order to give a good seal so that the tissue stay doesn't dry out and remains sterile. The last stage is to trace around the tissue so that we know the shape that it was when we started the experiment. The second part of the practical is going to involve tissue culture of carrots after infection with three different strains of agrobacterium. I'm starting off by sterilizing, as before, my scalpel and my razor, my forceps, and I'm keeping the flame next to the plate where I'm going to put the material. I'm getting the carrot out of the jar where it's been sterilized and washed, sterilized in bleach, 
and washed, and now I'm putting it onto the sterile petri dish here, and we'll then slice it into the discs. With three with different strains in one control, all on one tube. So, flame, flame the. Burn off all the alcohol and let it cool. Let it cool and. Okay. Yeah, one more. Sure. And then label them nine four zero two LBA. Four, four, oh, four, and 